Baycove um, is an agency that serves people with disabilities, basically the most vulnerable people in our society. So we serve about 14,000 people a year in about 140 locations across eastern Massachusetts. Depending on how you count it, we have about 1,600 employees. As Bay Cove depends more and more on technology, physical infrastructure is a huge cost for us, both from the point of view of capital expense and just the administrative overhead. The more complex technology gets, the more expert my staff have to become. The cloud takes a lot of that infrastructure piece out of the mix. We have an old legacy email system that's about 20 years old. It was developed for a Mac platform. It was great in the beginning, um, but it, it struggles with the ability to integrate with mobile devices. Um, so three or four years ago, we started looking for alternatives, and we looked at Exchange, certainly. But the physical infrastructure, again, to do it appropriately um, with appropriate disaster recovery, would probably be a hundred thousand dollars initial capital investment for us to do exchange right. Google offers the educational nonprofit version of Google Apps for free to qualified nonprofits and educational institutions. Um, so we started looking at it uh, and found that it in fact does pretty much everything we wanted from an email calendaring perspective and more. Um, and that was part of the appeal was the and more, the possibility of the shared, the team environments. The old technology way is we controlled everything. Google is very much into focusing on the user uh, and that's predominantly that plus the cost um, and the integration with the mobile devices was why we ended up choosing Google Apps. We, we have partners, other nonprofits like us that serve people with disabilities. We collaborate on contracts to serve our clients. Um, moving to the cloud allows that kind of collaboration um, to a much greater extent. Um, we're not tied to um, a private proprietary email system. Um, again, that's a challenge though when we get into the, the regulation of protected information having users be able to spontaneously share um, can create some significant problems. HIPAA, which is the sort of national federal level um, program to secure data around medical kinds of interactions and billing as well, um, was one. And then the state of Massachusetts just recently um, promulgated a security regulation around any kind of protected information, whether it's health information, banking, any kind of private information. And both of those were major pressures for us to move to make sure that everything is secured in Google Apps. There's a relatively active marketplace around Google applications, so we started looking for third-party vendors that were doing something around securing docs and found Africa and their Ninja product. It just gives me peace of mind um, around what's being shared publicly, what's being shared through the domain, and in our business, uh, medical information isn't appropriate to be shared to everybody in the company. It's very selective. So the, the Ninja product gives me the ability to see any documents that are shared domain-wide, and um, we can then go in and look and see if it's appropriate, check with the managers, and that's, that's a real benefit for us. It also shows us whether anything's been shared to the general public, which is one thing you can do with Google Docs, or shared with anybody outside of our domain. Again, it's a flag for us. It's not necessarily inappropriate, but it's a flag for us to be, to be able to go in and check. Without the Apergo product, the Apergo Ninja product, we would not be rolling out Google Docs now. As we first implemented Google Apps, it was email and calendaring. A few people were playing around with Docs, but it became very clear that we didn't have the ability to know whether or not they were sharing inappropriately. The Apergo Ninja product gives us that ability now.